Hi everybody and welcome back to the Rich Reviews channel. Today we're here with the Porsche Region 16, the Porsche Owners Club Region 16, which is the first meet since the, well, the, the latest lockdown. Um, the last meet we had was at the Alain Valley Drive and today we're at Cars and Coffee with Porsche Owners Club Region 16. <laughs> Look, there's a vast array of cars here. We've had a very, very good turnout. We'll walk you around all the different cars that are here. I don't know all of them by specification because there's a lot of new members, um, but we'll just give you a pan through of all the different cars that have turned up today so you can get an appreciation of our first meet and the sort of turnout that we've had. So first of all, we've got a couple of 997s here. And as we move along, we've got a, a 997 GT3. Next to the 997 GT3, we've got a Cayenne Hybrid. Here we've got a Taycan 4S. So the three, there's three different models for the Taycan. There's the 4S, the Turbo and the Turbo S. So this is the entry model for the Taycan. You'll see there's a different design. If you look at my previous video on the Taycan test drive, you'll see if you look at the front design of the headlights, the front design of the headlights is slightly different. So on the left here, we've got a couple of boxes. We've got an old style. Old, one of the old style manual boxers and we've got one of the new modern ones pdks so we've got here we've got a, a 996 straight carrera if you look at the headlights on this 996 carrera you can see how the actual and um, they're plastic and you can always uh, tell the difference between plastic and glass because of course you get a bit of hazing on the plastic lenses and here we've got a 930 targa now the targas had either a polished aluminium, well brushed aluminium hoop or um, a satin black hoop. This as you can see this particular model has a satin black hoop. Sometimes people actually in the early days sprayed the satin, the, the satin um, aluminium polished, well not polished, the satin brushed hoops. Sometimes they actually sprayed them black, just let the bikes go by. Sometimes they sprayed them black and when they were actually um, you had an option of actually matte black or the brushed aluminium but a lot of people took them back to standard so this is probably standard now as it was actually when it left the factory. Here we have one of the more modern Boxsters, it's a PDK Boxster. Here we have a Cayman R and a beautiful, I don't know what colour it's specifically it's called but a lovely lime car, lime colour, it's the lovely lime colour. Very bright colour, it really pops in this sunlight. So here we have a very interesting car, it's a 991-911 GT3 Touring. In effect, it's a, it's a GT3 but without the wing, but it's a very rare car. To be able to procure these cars, you had to have been into Porsche for about, I don't know, three, four or five other, other cars from new. So it's a very rare car and uh, very sought after and this is really going to hold its value going forward. It's understood that these only come in a manual format, so um, one of the key things about the actual touring um, version of the GT3 is that they come in manual, which is quite rare nowadays. Mostly everything is flappy paddle um, on, the, on the Porsche PDK systems. So a very interesting motor here, we've got a 944 CS, so Club Sport. Um, if you look at the actual badging on the car, it's actually got the light, it's, it's done so lightweight, it's designed so lightweight that the actually badge is just a sticker. It isn't actually a, physically ba a physical badge. You don't really need to go that far, but they did. This is race spec. So this will, this will um, actually be lightened. Um, actually, so interesting enough, you've got some design cues that match in with Ferraris as well for some reason. So this, this particular design on the bonnet is very similar to that designs on Ferraris. Don't quite know why. And you've got full race cage inside the CS as well, obviously, again, because it's race spec. So here we have a, a 911-992 in gentian blue. So this is a, a new car, a 992, a new, a new 911. So it's been a few days since the Porsche event 
um, we weren't able to I wasn't able to talk for every single vehicle that we were there things got a bit hectic uh, people coming and going very quickly so what we did was we focused on the videoing and I'll talk you through the remaining cars that uh, were at the event um, and that were coming and going during the actual event so the 911 touring here is a very rare car um, the owner here isn't using it that regular he puts about he's put about seven to ten thousand miles on the car this is a, this is a famous car documented by Chris Harris. Chris Harris actually owns one of these cars and swears he's going to put a hell of a lot of mileage on the car. Um, whether or not he does, I don't know because the the car is actually very rare. There's a there's a, a rarer version of this car called the 911R. The 911R is documented as being substantially uh, higher value than the 911 Touring, um, with the 911R around a hundred thousand pounds more than the 911 Touring. I guess the, the verdict is out, the jury's out there whether or not um, the 911R is actually worth that much more. You can see here that, that um, the owner of the 911 Touring has gone for uh, quite a standard base, base spec here but you couldn't at the time when, when they were specified, you didn't have the chance of, of going for any elaborate colour schemes both internal or external. So here he's gone for I think it's a, a seal grey or, or around that sort of colour. Um, on the outside and he's he's also had the car fully PPF'd. I believe initially he didn't have the car fully PPF'd so there may have been a stone chip or two beforehand and it's a beautiful a beautiful edition of, of, the, of the 911 Touring. It's in very very good condition and um, lovely to see it there at the event and if you if you didn't know what you're looking for you just wouldn't have known what it was and therefore it's, uh, it's very much camouflaged in its specification um, without you know, any flash wings, um, flash wheels or flash colouring scheme. It was um, a very lovely demure spec that goes very much under the wire. So here you can see the 991 GT3 RS. Very obvious in its, in its specification, very very common, um, big wing, outlandish colours etc. Very conspicuous in its specification in its colour scheme and very obvious in, in its specification as well commonly this is specified and in this in this way a beautiful rendition of the car uh, the GT3 RS easily being the most performant car at the event so here we have the 991 GT3 now you may notice or you may recognize this from the previous Land Valley event in Wales that um, that we took part in uh, this car was uh, very conspicuous in its um, in its addition to the actual vehicles um, during the drive we had two 930s one of them was a Targa and one of them was a 930 Turbo these cars in themselves are quite valuable nowadays uh, the old classic 911s the old classic air cooled 911s being being very valuable and have hiked quite a bit in value and a 930 turbo being predominantly more valuable than the 930 targa um, but the version here of the 930 targa being the actual the matte black hooped version we had two 944s um, one of them was actual race spec and the other version is actually owned by one of the region 16 uh, organizers and uh, Stuart, called Stuart. You may recognize Stuart and his car from the previous event again at the Alam Valley Drive and during that event at the end uh, Stuart had a, 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 an unfortunate situation where his actual clutch went uh, so we actually stopped and interviewed Stuart at the end of the event just to gain an appreciation of what had happened. Uh, we didn't know then that it was actually the clutch had failed so um, his car's obviously back up to spec now running and he does actually race that car too. So here we have a bright green 981 Cayman GT4. Now this car was also, um, you'll notice it was evident on the Alain Valley Drive as well. Um, very, very prominent in its color scheme as well. Very much similar to the GT3, in, but not the same color, but, but um, not the same color with regards to shade, but um, very prominent and vibrant green. So the 718 GT4 is, at, is now available in the PDK, PDK format um, with the 718 GT4 RS um, coming in around the corner are going to be available soon. So those are a couple of models to uh, to look out for well with the PDK version available now and the RS RS model coming soon. Now here we have an interesting car. It's a 964 RSR replica. Some people may call this a resto mod. It's not really a resto mod. It's a replica. So this is around a thousand kilograms in weight and pushes out 280 brake horsepower. So obviously the power to rate ratio is quite high here. So hopefully you've enjoyed that walk through the, our first event, our first region 16 event uh, since coming back from the second, no, since the third lockdown now. It was great to get out with the guys again and to meet everybody again and to have a coffee and, and socialize obviously within groups of six <laughs> um, officially within groups of six 
Um, thanks a lot for watching everybody. Um, if you like what you've seen then please give it the old thumbs up and, and like the video and plenty more videos to come as good old Sam would say from Seen Through Glass. We're looking to increase the actual subscriber base um, to a thousand subscribers this year. Thanks again to all my loyal subscribers and for staying with the channel. Um, loads of very cool videos to come in the near future as we're going to be um, renovating the garage very soon that's going forward so that that will be some of the next content to drop so some great content to come. Thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.